What's up out there? I thought I would complete my trifecta of game reviews. I've got one for Path of Exile. I've got one for Last Epoch, and I am going to try to do one for Diablo 4. The only problem is I find Diablo 4 so excruciatingly boring, it's very difficult for me to actually go through and complete this thing. I think the story is bland and terrible. I don't know who any of the characters are. I could care less. Lilith, from what I gather, it was some footnote and some... Uh, Diablo two season somewhere. So don't know who she is. There's no primevals in the game. I already know that. So like, there's nothing that I care about, but I got a comment on one of my, or I got a comment on my last epoch review. And the comment was basically to the effect that somebody had played Diablo four. And I took the way they worded their comment was that they played Diablo four and then tried last epoch out and, and, moved from one to the other and they didn't really see much of a difference between the two games and i'm sitting there thinking to myself my god it's just blindingly obvious how different those games are there are a lot of similarities sure but there's a lot of differences to them and that's what prompted me to go and decide to actually try and do this we've got a week and a half before the next path of exile league so I'm going to do what I can to get as much of this game played in that week and a half as I can. It's difficult because I really don't like playing this. I find it just boring. But I will I will try to get an actual review for this, and I'm going to try to format it the way I did my last Epoch review. I liked that format. I liked the way that video turned out. Uh, I'm personally pretty proud of it. I thought it was a pretty good step up from what I did. And I, I, like I said, I like that format, so that's what I'm going to do. So much like last epoch, I basically did a few videos of what I thought was going to be a series, but it was more of a review in progress kind of thing. And that's what this is, is the first video in that. I don't know if it's going to be a series or maybe it's just this video and then a review. Maybe it's just this video and I never play this again. I don't know. We'll see. But what I wanted to do is to start off by showing <clears throat> these are the three characters that I have to give you an idea of the amount of time that I've actually put into this game. I, I, I don't see a way of actually tracking it through uh, Battle.net, but I have a level 26 uh, Barbarian. I have a level 21 Barbarian. This one was from season one. I did not buy this game at launch. I bought it during season one when it first went on sale. I was not paying full price for this turd. So I bought this in season one, played it for a little bit, got to level 26. I actually tried to play the campaign in this. I found the campaign horrendously boring and I just, I hated every second of it. In season two, where this character, this level 21 barbarian came out, they gave us the option of totally skipping the campaign. So I skipped it. I still found the game excruciatingly boring and I actually tried following build guides for some of these because I was trying to do anything I could to make this game fun and interesting and it's 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 a miserable experience. So let me start off this guy. This is the one that I made it the furthest into the game with. I actually have, I'm up to a particular boss fight. This is in world tier one. My season two character looks like it was in world tier two and then the current character I've got is just in World Tier 1. I just want to make this game as quick and painless as possible. So, hold up for a second before I go out there. Let me, let me show this build. We have Whirlwind. We have Lunging Strike. We have Wrath of the Berserker, Challenging Shout, uh, War Cry, Rallying Cry. I think I tried following a build guide. So basically, Rallying Cry has to generate Fury. War Cry has to, does this generate Fury? Uh, I don't see that it says. Challenging Shout doesn't generate Fury. Wrath of the Berserkers and Ultimate. Uh, the Lunging Strike does generate Fury. So here's my single biggest complaint. Well, I, I aside from the game being completely overwhelmingly boring well i have a lot of complaints i guess uh but you'll notice that the fury meter it says generated when using certain skills or taking damage used for powerful attacks so you're pretty much limited on a melee character i'm going to put a uh emphasis on that 
I can't use my cool skill. Not enough fury. Not enough fury. Not enough fury. Not enough fury. That's all it says. So I have to use this garbage skill that I don't really care for. Oh, you're not dead yet. Okay, cool. So I have to do that to generate fury. And then I got to walk and go find monsters. And if it takes too long to find monsters, your fury goes away. So the fun meter goes away. But I can use the fun meter in here for a little bit. Oh, I actually... Oh, no, I didn't kill the pack. So now I got a beat on this guy. Okay, now we got a beat on this thing with the shitty skill to generate the fun meter again. This is one of the big things that I just really despise about this game is that fury meter. That thing is horrible. Okay, cool. I can use the fun meter for a second. Yay. Is this somebody else attacking? I don't know if that's another player or what. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? That's melee. So getting back to the person that commented on my last Epoch video, they said they couldn't tell the difference between this game and that. And I'm playing melee and I'm like, Jesus, how do you not notice that this fury meter sucks? But then I decided I was going to try ranged on this. I'm in season three right now. I don't really care about the seasons. I, I just don't care about playing this. Um, all I care about is just trying to get this as fast as possible. Get through this, get done with it, get some videos out about it, uh, get a review done for it, that kind of thing. That's all I'm worried about. You see how long I'm walking, 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 walking. There's so much walking in this game. What you will notice, though, is this has energy. Used to perform more powerful attacks. Energy quickly regenerates over time. Why do you have this on the ranged build, but not the melee build? Why are they different? Why do I have to use piss poor skills to generate this when I don't have to on the melee side? It's so stupid. Oh, okay, cool. We get to attack stuff. All right, there we go. Done. There's your combat. How much have we walked? How long have we walked in here? And now we're just now finding a little bit of combat. Oh, okay, there's like four creatures. So if you... I hope this illustrates a little bit about why I think this game is so excruciatingly boring. We're in an open world. I walked from here over to here and I fought, what, six creatures or something like that? There's a quest over here. I don't feel like doing that quest. Let's go see if there's a different one somewhere. Oh, we have to walk all the way up here to get that place unlocked. <sighs> okay, so I, I... wait. What's this quest? Pilgrimage. Ah, let's try that. Sure, why not? That quest and the other one really sucked. I didn't like it. I did a quest last night that took 30 minutes to do, and it was nothing but walking down some elevator shaft somewhere in some coal mine or something. It was kind of some of the most boring gameplay of just wide open spaces to walk through, and then you go fight something. And it was just nonstop. You'd walk for a minute, and then you'd fight like five things, and you'd walk for another minute, and you'd fight five more things, and it was this all over again just over and over again and this is where i the, this is where the game loses me between the piss poor melee combat and the piss poor amount of walking like look at how much walking we have to do i'm simply walking to the next quest i can't get the horse for a long while oh there's crafting materials i can get okay whoop de doo oh <sighs> did i not do this yesterday all right let's skip that Oh, we got to go to... I swear to God I did this yesterday. I swear I did this. Now I have to do it again. Okay, so right off the bat, we've established melee sucks. Ranged isn't that bad. I actually kind of like this. This is not bad. Although this is one button. It's like one button to use. Uh, I still hear that I'm out of energy fairly frequently. Not as bad as it was in uh, the melee side. The melee side was constant. You're always out of... There's far too much walking. Uh, sometimes you'll have to open a door. Like there might be a doorway that needs opened. You'll click on the doorway instead of just immediately opening and go to the next area. It puts a little bar that goes across. Like they're artificially making you. Now watch. We're in this area. We're going to walk through here. Oh, there's somebody to talk to. 
Is there actually something to do in here? Oh, yeah, okay. The, uh, the good old red monsters. There's so many of these things you see. And, uh, Jesus. Uh, I really should bump this up to World Tier 2. I just want to get this beaten as quickly as possible. I just... I can't. I tried World Tier 2 and it was even... It was just as bad as this. I... Just as boring, I should say. Oh, have I shown off the? Uh, oh, have I shown off the move? Have I shown it off? There you go. There's your. There's your uh, uh, evade move. Your dodge. It, it, it's got a five second cooldown. Five full second cooldown. There, I used dodge. Now I gotta wait five full seconds. That is one of the most ridiculous design decisions I think I've seen. Why I even put a dodge in at that point? And the dodge on the melee side barely moves. Like, you barely go anywhere with it. it it's another... Oh, and did you see that when I leveled up, it killed everything that had that remained to die? I don't like that either. And here's your itemization. Ooh, this has got a minus three. That's red and bad, so we throw it away. Let's see if this ring has anything. Nope, it's uh, not any better, so we throw it away. If it's green, so if I put this on, uh, do we get anything good out of this? Nah, it's just garbage. So if I take this helmet and I equip this other helmet, this helmet has a plus three and it's green, so it's better. This one's got a minus three and it's worse. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how is this even, why do I have points in caltrips? I don't think I took that, did I? I thought I took shadow step on purpose. I think I need sturdy. I, I'm actually following a build guide to make this turd a little more tolerable, but it's still just God awful. I didn't do this last night. This wasn't the thing I was thinking of. We got to go over here. I don't like the fact that you hit the tab key and you pull up the entire damn map. You hit M and it pulls up the map. Uh, Path of Exile Last Epoch have an overlay where you can just hit tab and it pulls the overlay up like, you know, normal, like every other ARPG. And I don't want to hear from anybody how this game has been out for six months and Path of Exile has been out for 10 years. Blizzard is the one that created this genre. Blizzard created Diablo 1 nearly 30 years ago. They had an overlay for the map in Diablo 1. I'm playing through Diablo 1 at this moment. That And that was there from day one. This is not some magical thing that just came up when Path of Exile invented it. No, that has been in this game for, or that has been in this franchise forever. It's not something new. It's not something shiny. And I don't like the comment, oh yeah, I did, I did take this. Because you take this and everything turns red. Why did, Why is there a meter there that goes across? Why not just pick it up? Why do I have to carry this? And I did this last night. Why do I have to do it again tonight? This turns red. We get attacked a few times. It's just kind of whatever. <sighs> I know I should put it on a higher world tier and make it more difficult because this is too easy. But the higher world tier is just more annoying. Like you, Everything's just spongier. It's not any more fun. It's just more spongy. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I complained about the dodge move. I complained about... Oh, yeah. Th please freeze me. I think these are the guys that freeze you. Do these freeze you? Being frozen really sucks in this game, too. Because you sit there for like four or five seconds. Uh, why? 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 Why is there a meter? Why not just place it? It's a waste of time. Complete waste of time. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Did I not click the right thing? Oh, we got to do this again? Oh, what? yeah, again. Why with the meter? Why is there a meter to just not, not... Why can't I just click on it and have the item? So many little design decisions are just stupid with this thing. Just so many awful design choices. And this is where I, this is where you lose me. If you tell me this looks like 
last epoch sure okay visually that's got the red bubble and it's got the blue bubble and this one regenerates and last epoch regenerates okay in a basic sense the the this system is pretty much the same it's been that way since diablo one pretty much the bubbles and the where your skills get placed and all that stuff and your xp bar it, it's all kind of the same it's been the same for 30 years that's just the way it is that's how it goes but that's where the similarities end. I mean, why do I have to wait for a meter to place something? It's not like I had to fight off a horde of enemies, you know? Oh, I got to read the damn tablet. All right, whatever. Don't care. Got to wait. You know, I mean, now I, now I get hit by monsters because I have to tab open this huge menu to go look at, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so many decisions along the way that are just god awful. All right, what else am I, what else can I complain about? Uh, let's see here. I yelled about the dodge moves just sucking. Dodge moves too slow. I have to pick up these things. Why do I have to pick those up? Why can't it just give them to me? It, it auto picks up some things, but not others. Uh, being frozen is terrible. I wish I could find one of those cellars because every one of those cellars I walked into had the exact same, uh, whatever, I don't even care about whatever those bones are. Every cellar in this game has been the exact same experience. You go in, some chick says something about uh, I, there's a pack of monsters or something like that. I went into several of those. I got sick of those real fast and I just quit going into anything that looked like a cellar. Oh, but, oh boy, he was, he had some health. Um, it's gone now. I know. World tier one. Probably should elevate it. It's not going to make me enjoy the game anymore. Let me guess. I got to talk to this thing again. Look into yourself. I got to wait on this thing. Yes, I could care less. Are we done? Are we finally done? Or can, are you going to tell me there's another one? The end nears, oh, we got to go up here. Okay. Up we go. More walking. With all this combat, I'm getting lost, you know? I mean, there's just so much combat in the way. <sighs> Sigh. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's just so much combat. If I wanted an ARPG make me to be, with that drive. can I skip this? Now there's an unskippable cutscene. You can't skip some of this. Why? I, I just want out of this at this point. I'm done with this. I want to move on, but I can't. And I got a comment. Somebody asked me why I didn't skip the campaign in this uh, or cutscenes. You can skip through them. Not every cutscene can be skipped for one. If you're actually trying to follow the story, you don't want to skip the cutscenes, and they last forever. They'll have a cutscene, and then they'll have a bunch of dialogue like this, and sometimes you can't skip the dialogue. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just this is where I get this is where I just it loses me. It definitely loses me, like in a big way. <laughs> And people say this is fun. This is a good campaign. Really? I don't know what campaign you're playing. Now you see how far we have to walk? Why is there so much screen space between that gate and this next entry? Is it going to do anything? Is there anything in here that's worth looking at or doing? No. Now I got to go into this monastery. And then we got to cross another giant room. Oh, no, we can't talk to him. We have to go up a set of stairs, cross another giant room. Oh, and here's another set of stairs, another giant room. Like, why is there so much walking in this? This is not fun. Who thought this was fun? You walk all that way to open this door. 
What's the point? Aside from making you take this long to get to this point and sit through this cutscene, can we unskippable? We can't even skip this. So if I wanted to skip this, I can't. Oddly enough, you'll see that I make my character look like me. <laughs> Bald dude with a goatee. Oh, is this Tyrael? No, it's Anarius. Okay, can we skip? No. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, this hopefully illustrates a lot of the complaints that I have about this. The amount of time it takes you to walk. We're 23 minutes into this video or 20, I'm 23 minutes into this recording right now. I don't feel like I've gotten 23 minutes of gameplay. If I was playing Path of Exile, Last Epoch, hell, even Wolson, Grim Dawn, uh, any of the other ARPGs, that I have talked about with my last Epoch review and Path of Exile, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, any of these other games do not have this amount of cutscenes. You can't cancel this. You can't get out of it. You can't get away from it. The dialogue is super heavy, and I understand they want to try and present a story. I get that. Even Walson wasn't this bad, and it had a lot, it had dialogue and videos that I wanted to watch. This is just some dude sitting here on his knees talking to this Tyrael or a uh, Tyrael looking guy in Arius or whatever, who I, I, I could care less. I, it's Tyrael. Why do we not have Tyrael? I mean, I'm pretty sure it was Tyrael that looked like that. It's been a long time since I played Diablo 3. I think he was in Diablo 3. I don't remember if he's in Diablo 2 or not. But, like... <sighs> I don't know who this is. Never seen him before. He looks like one of the other people. I know they're all angels or whatever. Now watch this. Now you're expected to walk back through this whole thing. Look at how much of this map you have to walk through to get there. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. I'm just going to get out of here. Watch this. It's going to make me walk back to it's it will have been shorter to walk from where I was cuz I'm going to probably have to walk back right outside that room where I just was. What was I over here? Yeah, so now I got to walk back over there again. All right. So can we It would have been easier and shorter for me to actually walk through the whole empty building that has no point than it would be to go teleport back to town and come back. That's how stupid this game is. That's how much this game wastes your time. And it's to me, it's mind-blowing how people think this is acceptable. How does somebody think this is good gameplay? It's in my interest to skip these co this combat because it's not doing me any good. I, I could level up for sure. But I could just skip it all, run past it. At least I think I can get... Oh, no, they slowed me down because I'm frozen. <laughs> Oh, I can use my little dodge move and get away. All right, cool. Oh, dare I check my map? We got to go this way. You know, never in my day would I have ever considered running past monsters in a Diablo because they're wasting my time. And I don't like how all the monsters are leveled up to what you are. Like it, Like you never get to feel dominant over monsters. You're just... Like you can't, in Diablo 1 or 2 or 3, you can go back to the early parts of the game and just wail on things. I mean, they don't give you XP, but at least you feel like you can run through it real fast and go do something. Everything in here feels the same, always feels the exact same, and it never feels different. Uh, was that where we went over there? Yeah, okay, cool. Here's the other thing I don't like. You got to wait for these people to finish their conversation before you can go up and talk to them. So much wasted time just sitting here. Uh, you see, I got to wait. Now, okay, now I can go up here and talk to her. There's one, uh, yeah, there's multiple of these quests. You go up to somebody and they're jabbering about something. You got to go up and, and pick it up. So anyway, yeah, this is pretty much what you're going to expect. It's just a whole lot of bitching for me because I just really don't like this game. Now, I am giving, I am really trying to give it, oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, yeah. So you can kind of skip through some of this. I thought you had to do something with this war table. 
I don't know. But I do want to try. I, I know I am completely biased into hating this game because I find so many problems with it and so many issues with it. I understand that. I am also very biased towards Path of Exile and Last Epoch because I very much enjoyed them. I don't feel like this game is ever going to redeem itself. I feel like they could make it better. They definitely made it better between season one and season two. Skipping this god awful boring campaign was a huge step up. The reason I'm going through this campaign right now is because I want to do a full proper review of it. And if I want to suffer through everything that uh, I don't like so that I can actually have uh, what I think would be a proper review. So I don't want to just skip things and then whine about something later. I'd rather go through the campaign and, tell, and then I can make a video about how much I hate the campaign. But anyway, I just wanted to do a little kickoff video of just showing the bare basics of why I just don't like this game a lot. Number one, it's a starting point. Maybe the game gets amazing after this and maybe the reveal they have with their campfire chat tomorrow about season four changes everything and it's all of a sudden it's it's as good as last epoch but i i honestly think this is going to end up probably i i gave last epoch an eight out of ten i honestly think this is about a six out of ten i think this is a very big step down just to how boring it is and how much of a slog everything is with it so that's my starting score whether it goes up or down from there and it could go down for sure but I have a feeling that's right about where this game is going to end up is about a six out of 10. I think that's kind of with what I've seen here. I know the nightmare dungeons and all that stuff is a horrible, boring grind. It looks exactly like the same thing that last epoch has with the, the, I want to say labyrinth, but that's not it. The monoliths. And I bounce off of that stuff. Like the very end of, uh, whatever Wilson had for an end game was boring. I bounced off that last epochs, end game I bounced off of path of exile is the one exception. It's got so much in game there that it, it has enough variety that I'm not bored with it. This game I know has a bunch of just the same repetitive, boring content and I'm already bored, you know, an hour or two into the game. I've only played a couple hours of this character so far. So we'll see again. We're just going to see where this goes. I'm going to try to get a review out. I hopefully will try to get through this in a week and a half. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I have to stick with it. And that's going to be the hard part is actually sticking with this because I just don't like playing this. On the flip side, if I don't make it through there and they start a new season soon, this character will bounce off to Eternal and I can actually just finish the campaign there and wrap up my thoughts with it after I get bored with the next Path of Exile League. So anyway... That will do it for this video. We will catch you in the next one. Take care.